In particle physics, Fermi's interaction is an explanation of the beta decay proposed by Enrico Fermi in 1933. The theory posits four fermions directly interacting with one another at one vertex. For example, this interaction explains beta decay of a neutron by direct coupling of a neutron with an electron, an antineutrino in a proton. Fermi first introduced this coupling in his description of beta decay in 1933. The Fermi interaction was the precursor to the theory for the weak interaction where the interaction between the proton-neutron and electron-antineutrino is mediated by a virtual W- boson. History of initial rejection in later publication Fermi first submitted his tentative theory of beta decay to the famous science journal Nature, which rejected it for being too speculative. Nature later admitted the rejection to be one of the great editorial blunders in its history. Fermi then submitted the paper to Italian and German publications, which accepted and published it in 1933 in those languages but it did not appear at the time in a primary publication in English. Fermi found the initial rejection of the paper so troubling that he decided to take some time off from theoretical physics and do only experimental physics. This would lead shortly to his famous work with activation of nuclei with slow neutrons, the nature of the interaction. The interaction could also explain muon decay via a coupling of a muon electron antineutrino, muon neutrino and electron, with the same fundamental strength of the interaction. This hypothesis was put forward by Gerstein and Zeldovich and is known as the vector current conservation hypothesis. Fermi's four fermion theory describes the weak interaction remarkably well. Unfortunately, the calculated cross-section grows as the square of the energy, making it unlikely that the theory is valid at energies much higher than about 100 GeV. The solution is to replace the four fermion contact interaction by a more complete theory, an exchange of a W or Z boson as explained in the electroweak theory. In the original theory, Fermi assumed that the form of interaction is a contact coupling of two vector currents. Subsequently, it was pointed out by Li and Yang that nothing prevented the appearance of an axial parity violating current, and this was confirmed by experiments carried out by Chen Chiung Wu. The inclusion of parity violation in Fermi's interaction was done by George Gamow and Edward Teller in the so-called Gamow-Teller transitions which described Fermi's interaction in terms of parity violating allowed decays and parity conserving superalliode decays in terms of antiparallel and parallel electron and neutrino spin states respectively. Before the advent of the electroweak theory in the standard model, George Sudarshan and Robert Marshak, and also independently Richard Feynman and Murray Gell-Mann, were able to determine the correct tensor structure of the four fermion interaction. Fermi constant The strength of Fermi's interaction is given by the Fermi coupling constant GF. The most precise experimental determination of the Fermi constant comes from measurements of the muon lifetime, which is inversely proportional to the square of GF. In modern terms, here G is the coupling constant of the weak interaction, and MW is the mass of the W boson which mediates the decay in question.